Hello my fellow Space Noise and welcome to the Xeon Remnants channel. And in today's video we're taking a look at yet another custom 1 to 100 master grade GM model here. And once again this is not a model that I built. I don't know, it's been so long I forget where I got these models from if they're from the same seller or not. Uh, but this model also was bought off eBay and it is not as battle damage as the previous uh, GM that I featured on the channel, but it is a definitely well-painted and well-weathered model, and it looks like it's been in a couple battles. It's not a brand new GM, but it has survived, and it's going to keep on going, and that's what I like about this one. It doesn't overdo it, um, and it is just a lot of nice detail, really good paint job this person did. Kept it basically true to the original model um, they darkened the colors a bit so they weren't as bright and I like that a lot about this one he has number seven here and it's even faded in a bit also I like that and as you can see oh wow I never noticed that <laughs> I never noticed that this one had uh, metal detail parts well that is cool wow Th these are in a display case ladies and gentlemen so they're mostly facing front, and I don't recall this one having detail parts, but it does, which is really cool. I like that. We got a lot of edge on the wear, or excuse me, we have a lot of wear on the edge here, and it's just a very nicely painted model. A lot of good detail. Even the gun, little submachine gun, was painted. It looks like there might even be some pre-shading on there. Yeah, it looks like there is just a little bit of pre-shading. It looks like this was painted with an airbrush. And now I still paint things either with can or by hand. My, my Sananju, for example, is painted entirely by hand with brushes and Citadel paints. Um, so um, I, I want to venture into airbrushing at some point. But at this moment, I just don't have the room. So until I get my own place... Um, I've been trying to buy a house for a couple months. It's been really hard here, uh, just the housing market. So once I get my own place and a nice setup, I'm definitely going to be getting an airbrush. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's no pilot in the cockpit. I was wondering if they even painted the pilot inside. That would have been really cool. But yet again, just another very nicely detailed kit. And the, once again, this is the same exact GM as the battle damage one I featured earlier and these two actually look really good together and I really like the way they go um, you can definitely have a diorama or something with this GM sitting down defeated destroyed and this GM coming into the battle maybe standing over this one or something like that and fighting Azaku or something and I, I intend to do something similar to that and um, this is just, these guys really go well together. Let's look at the other extreme of things and take a look at what this model looks like straight out of the box without any paint. And this is the model straight out of the box. As you can see, these are all the same GM. So like I said, this GM is basically the same color scheme as the original one. They darkened it a bit and made it look less like a toy and more like an actual mobile suit, which is always good um, if you're going to go ahead and uh, do something like this to kind of bring the colors down a little bit because then it looks more like a war machine, no pun intended, and not a model kit, which is always good. So I really like this and it makes me want to do something with this guy because he just doesn't fit in. It might be time to do a custom on this one. Do something with it. I don't know. Maybe Xeon colors or something. Nah, we we got to keep it Earth Federation forces. So... Um, the only thing that I wish this one had was a, just some more decal somewhere, you know, on the shoulder, like to have the Earth Federation Space Force on this one. I think this one could do with just a little bit of decals. I know we have the 07, um, but just, just a little bit would be nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a short video here. Let me know what do you think of this repaint down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like 
let's try and get, I don't know, this is a short video, so let's do 15 likes or so. I think we can manage that with the amount of subscribers we have now. The subscribers have been steadily going up lately, and I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me with the content I've been putting out. And I'm, like I said in the last video, we'll be doing more Gundam videos as I'm trying to do more multiple projects at once. And I have some uh, action figures that I've been doing, of course, some dioramas I'm working on. Actually, um, let's see here. Uh, over there is the start of a Titans uh, hangar diorama that I'm working on. And um, there's just some random figures and stuff in there. And yeah, so we'll be working on that. And that'll be in a video soon. So, subscribe if you want to see stuff like that coming out. Turn on the notifications so you know when I upload a video. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all the support. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, as always, Zeke Zion!